My name is Henry Hoffman and I'm a video game designer that also kind of dabbles in art, design and programming. I played video games like a huge amount as a child, um, but when I was about nine years old, uh, my father bought this copy of Planet PC, which is this magazine, and it came with a disc on the front, uh, and the disc came with a copy of Click and Play, which is this drag and drop game creation tool. Um, so I started playing around with that. I made like 100 games between the age of nine and 16 or something. And then when I hit about 16, I was like, actually, maybe if I'm spending all my time making video games, maybe that's a kind of a career that I should pursue. The idea of Hue is that um, you play as this a little boy whose mother studies the theory of colors in a black and white world. She kind of uh, disappears under these mysterious circumstances um, and you go on this adventure to try and find what happened to her. And you do that by collecting fragments of her research throughout the game world and altering the background color of the world uh, to make things appear and disappear. So there's a, there's a couple of levels that uh, kind of perfectly illustrate uh, how different gameplay mechanics using this one core mechanic can interoperate in these really exciting and interesting ways. You look at the puzzle, it's kind of laid out in front of you and you think you know how to solve it. Maybe you push a crate past an, an invisible block and then you're like, ah, no, something is not quite how it seems, and then you go back and you retread your steps and then you have to kind of solve it in your head. Um, that kind of uh, puzzle design philosophy uh, really comes into play in some of my favorite levels, I think. On my journey as a Breakthrough Brit, I think I'm most excited about um, uh, the experiences from people from the different creative industries, from the film, from television, how that can then be applied to my own video game expertise, um, and how I can bring in different talents, how I can learn from people, learn from their experiences, uh, and how I can use that to kind of inform my game design moving forwards.